My name is Jonathan Brown Menzies, and we're gonna stay at a haunted hotel. Here we are, guys, at the Hawthorne Hotel in downtown historic Salem, Massachusetts. Here's a little bit of information from the hotel's website. With a stay at the Hawthorne Hotel, you'll be centrally located in Salem. Steps from Salem Common and Salem Witch Museum. Make yourself at home in one of the 93 air-conditioned rooms featuring iPod docking stations and flat-screen televisions. Complimentary wireless internet access keeps you connected and cable programming is available for your entertainment. Private bathrooms with bathtubs or showers feature complimentary toiletries and hair dryers. Conveniences include desks and complimentary newspapers and housekeeping is provided daily. Take advantage of recreation opportunities such as a fitness center or other amenities including complimentary wireless internet access and concert service. The hotel also features gift shops, newsstands, wedding services, and a ballroom. Enjoy American cuisine at Nats, one of the hotel's two restaurants, or stay in and take advantage of room service. Sorry. It's all right, no problem. Quench your thirst with your favorite drink at the bar lounge. Cook to order breakfasts are available daily from 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fee. Surrounding attractions include Salem Common, Salem Witch Museum, National Park Service Salem Visitor Center, New England Pirate Museum, Peabody Essex Museum, Salem Witch Trials Memorial, Salem Toy Museum, Salem Wax Museum, Witch History Museum, Salem Custom House, and Witch Dungeon Museum. And guys, here are some quotes from TripAdvisor. I am baffled by how beautiful this hotel was. The outside, the inside, everything. The lobby had an air of a high-end hotel while still remaining warm and cozy. The crowning glory has to be the bar. Beautiful wood paneling all round and a roaring open fire created a snug and welcoming ambiance, especially in this unseasonably cold New England fall. Hawthorne Hotel is not only a luxury hotel, it's in the middle of all the action in Salem. This is definitely not a budget hotel, but it's worth every penny. It is a gorgeous property, it is historic, it is conveniently located. The service is impeccable, the rooms are extremely comfortable. Wow, it doesn't get any better than that. Since picking up the phone to making reservations to the time we checked out, it was top-notch service all the way. Even though the hotel was jumping with activity, the desks staff was still friendly, accommodating, and calm. The room was small but clean and comfortable. I highly recommend the Hawthorne. It's an older, well-maintained historic hotel. Don't come here looking for modern flash amenities. The front desk staff was extremely helpful with any questions and requests. Bonus is that the hotel offers free parking, though it's first come first serve. No fake luxury. The service is top notch. They will do everything to make your stay enjoyable, even anticipate your needs. The staff knew my name from the first day. The restaurant meals were wonderful. I'll remember the Hawthorne experience for years to come. Just going around to the main entrance around the corner here. Oh, it is a windy day. Hawthorne Hotel, there she is. Hope they're ready for us. Beautiful lights, decorations. Loving it. Historic Hotels of America. There it is, guys. Check it out. Awesome lobby. The bell hops life. Nice painting. Time to check in. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, just uh, checking in. Oh, buddy, check out 11 a.m. non smoking hotel. Okay. Light signature on the bottom on the first page. Okay. Guest questionnaire. Oh, are those real flowers too? Yes, they are. Wow, I can smell it from here. Very nice. Yeah, they are. Oh, the Tavern on the Green. If I'm meeting a friend here tonight, do, do you recommend reservations or you think it should be? I would make one just in case. Okay. Uh, we always do prioritize in-house guests. Oh, okay, great. Um, I'll put you in. What time do you want to come in? Uh, six o'clock, if possible. Just six? two people. Yeah. No problem. I'll put it in for you. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, and you guys have coffee in the morning here? Yes. It'll um, come down here to the front desk. We'll make you one back here. Oh, oh wow. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm really excited mm -hmm. to stay here. Thank you so much for your help. Yes, you're very welcome. Check it out, guys. Love this old school key. Here's the elevator. Whoa. 
Going up to the third floor. Wow, I've never seen an elevator like this. I really like this, guys. Check it out. It's like a tapestry kind of fabric. Very luxurious. Very quiet elevator, too. So this is going to be their smallest room. Very, very competitive rate, guys. Obviously, this place, Halloween, is their prime time. So it's not Halloween. It's kind of like their down season. Wow, I love it, guys. I love this decor. This is so cool. Old school doors, nice chandeliers, kind of a pale green and white color. Ice floors, beverages, candy and snacks. Wow, that's cool. Okay, guys, here we are. Okay, and lights, camera, action. Whoa. So here's the room, guys. I'm not gonna say it's a huge room, but it's perfect. Everything you need. So let's start off with the nightstand. Got the phone, TV remote, couple plugs here. And I'm gonna be reading tonight, so that's good. Little storage, little drawer for something down there. And closet, ironing board, hangers, luggage rack, a real iron, flat screen TV on the wall. We got our own thermostat that we have full control over. I like that because I am feeling a little bit cold right now. Get it up to 73, couple of cups, ice bucket, and it's like a real old, looks like an antique bureau. I like it, guys. Embroidered sheets with a ship in the middle, the Hawthorne logo, and let's see what our view looks like. Oh, that heat feels good. I can feel that heat coming from somewhere. Oh, right here. It is cold out there, guys. Oh my God. And the view, well, I'm not gonna say it's a great view. It's kind of like an inside view of the roof and the air conditioning unit. But, you know, it was the cheapest room. I didn't splurge. I think the room cost $114. I think the next step up was like $150 and I could have gotten a bigger room, probably with a better view. You know, this is fine. At least I can see the sky and tell if it's rain and snow and what's going on out there. So now let's check out the bathroom. I like this antique doorknob. Turn the light on in here. Yeah, very well appointed bathroom. Definitely got a lot of towels, a lot of towels. Mirror, a couple more cups. Let's see, what do we got? Shampoo, conditioner, lotion, soap, hair dryer, one of these close up mirror type deals. Toilet paper right on the side and an extra roll of toilet paper, tissues and a walk-in shower. Wow, this is very nice, guys. I do like it. Now, it's not a huge room, but like I said, this is the cheapest room in the house. I knew it was gonna be a small room. They don't make any secret about it when you're booking it. If you want a bigger room, they do have like five classes of rooms on the website. Everything from two double beds, king beds, suites, whatever you want. But it's just gonna be me, so this bed in a small room is completely fine. Gonna take a little nap now, guys. Meeting an old friend, Steve-O, in about an hour. We're gonna head to Tavern on the Green the hotel restaurant downstairs. Looking forward to checking out the menu, having a few drinks. Talk to you soon, guys. Just had a little nap, guys. Just want to show you some of the stuff that I bring. I bring my own hot water heater all the time. That way you can make your own coffee and tea. This particular hotel, they don't supply you with kettles, although you can go down to the lobby and get coffee and tea. But me, I come prepared. I like to make it whatever I want. I drink a lot of tea. Also got some light snacks. The trail mix, can't go wrong with that. And the old Tates. And a good book to help you fall asleep. Now gonna check the cable TV. It said they do have cable TV. Let's see how many channels do they get. Do they have regular cable, extended cable? Let's see, WGBH, that's the PBS station around here. All right, New England Cable News. Uh, looks like they get all the Fox, NBC, ABC. So not too bad. And it's right in front of the bed, so you're gonna get a good view when you're sleeping. Another test, guys, that I like to do is the pressure test. I think I already showed you guys the pressure of this faucet, which is really good. Now we're gonna check the pressure on the shower. Pretty good, not too bad. Let's see if it gets hot enough. Put it all the way up there. Nothing better than a hot shower, especially these old school hotels. They have an endless supply of hot water and the pressure is always good. Already getting hot, oh yeah. So here we are guys in the stairwell and this is where you're gonna find the ice and the soda machine. Just check out the view from the stairwell here. There's the Salem Common, I think it's called, or Salem Green. Little view of the town, very nice. A charming little town. It is a non-smoking hotel, but I like how they left these old school ashtrays up for effect. 
and they got the old mailbox. You slip your letter right in here. It goes down to the main one in the lobby. Wow, guys, this is amazing. This painting's from like 1800 and the guy's wearing a face mask. Oh, it is a windy cold night in Salem, guys. Can't wait to get in that pub. Just gonna put the parking permit in the car. Nightfall in Salem. Still a lot of people on the sidewalks, guys. I know there's a lot of shopping, restaurants and stuff like that. In normal times, it is COVID-19, so some stuff may be closed, I'm not sure. But still a bustling downtown. The thing I like about this hotel, guys, you come here, you're right in the middle of downtown, you're not gonna be spending money on Uber, on taxis, all the attractions, restaurants, bars, shopping, museums, pretty much all of it is within walking distance. So you park your car here, you get one of these permits from the front desk, throw it on the dash, set it, and forget it. I don't wanna think about this car until I check out. There it is, the Hawthorne, baby. Maybe walk around the other side, get a front view here. There's the Salem Witch Museum, it's red. Check out those red lights. Nice wreaths here, very tastefully done, that is for sure. Historical, unpretentious luxury, guys, that's what this is. There's the Salem Comet cold to be walking around. Oh my god, it's really cold. Holy crap. Some nice architecture around here, that is for sure. Check out this house on the corner. Is that still a private residence? I can't tell. Little sneak preview. There's the lobby. Can't wait to get in there. It is freaking cold out. Gonna ask for a hot cup or a mug to bring up to the room so I can make my own tea. And this is the tavern. Oh, we're gonna check that out in a minute. Right now, just wanna get into this lobby and warm up. Here in the lobby and some nice books to sit here, have a coffee or tea or a glass of wine, read a book. There's the lobby as it once was, I believe, much the same. Grand hotels of the jazz age. Nice furniture. The Hawthorne opens for business. Just kind of giving the history of the hotel. It opened for business amidst much fanfare, July 23rd, 1925. Some history of Salem. And this is the concierge. They're closed now, but they can help you out with area attractions, tickets, stuff like that. Nice painting. The Sultan of Zanzibar welcomes the ship Glide of Salem in port. So I guess a ship from Salem went to Zanzibar. They had this ceremony when the ship arrived. Check out the colonial flag there. This looks like maybe the breakfast room. I don't know, it's closed now, so I'm not gonna go in there. But I will show you guys the ATM right in the lobby. Payphones, oh my God. If you're looking for a payphone, they have one here at the Hawthorne Hotel. For anybody under 25 years of age, you actually put coins in here and then you make a call and that's how it goes and then you run out of time you got to put more coins in Derby Wharf. I do like all the history here guys this is really nice looks like a popular wedding destination here at the Hawthorne pretty cool with the bride and the groom with the old letter box work from home at the Hawthorne 50 bucks a day not bad nice setup with a desk and a table and unlimited coffees have it on the green very extensive menu looking forward to that that in another hour. Just got some complimentary hot cups, guys, so I can make my own tea in the room. And while I was there, I asked the front desk staff, is the letterbox still operational or is it just a decoration? And guess what, guys? It is still in working order. You can drop a letter from any floor in the hotel. It goes down to the main collection box and it's picked up every day at 12 noon. So if you're here in Salem at the Hawthorne Hotel, filling out that postcard, put a stamp on it, drop it from your floor, and the USP Yes, we'll take it from there. Oh, I'm gonna relax a little bit. The Hotel Hawthorne bed, great for a little nap. And we got a little Emerald Legasse on TV. Bam! I don't know if you guys can hear that wind circulating in the courtyard. It's giving it that eerie feeling like, mm -hmm. So it's gonna be interesting when three in the morning rolls around. That's when the ghosts come out. Jonathan Brown Menzies coming at you from the lobby of the Hawthorne Hotel. Just wait for Steve-O, Steve-O to arrive. We're gonna go for dinner at Tavern on the Green, the in-house pub here at the Hawthorne Hotel. Meanwhile, I'm just reading The Prince of Beverly Hills. Loving the ambiance here, guys. Tavern on the Green here with Steve-O. Looking forward to a few strong drinks and thinking about a cheeseburger, but we're gonna check out that menu. 
maybe somewhere in the corner, a corner, just so we're not on display, you know. And sitting in the ballroom, guys, due to social distancing protocols, nice high ceilings. It is a beautiful space, that's for sure. In the ballroom. Check out these high ceiling chandeliers and everything. COVID doesn't stand a chance in this place, that's for sure. What do you think, Steve? Are you still a beer drinker? Or? Uh, I do, uh, do Captain and Coke a lot. I do, oh, Captain uh, and Coke. Yeah. Hey, you know, I might go with a mixed drink too. I'm thinking either margarita or a gin and tonic. I don't know. Oh, I like this, bolognese. Either that or the 1925 burger, sweet onion blue. A lot of definitely good choices. Hawthorne penne pasta, meatloaf, a lot of comfort food. I would say. I'll just go with That's a tried and true um, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic? What's the gin that you guys use? Like the house gin? Hendrix. Oh, Hendrix? That's like a really good one. <laughs> and could we also put it in order for a nachos as an app? Yeah, do you guys want to add chicken, guacamole? Whole nine yards. Here we go. Hawthorne Hotel, famous gin and tonic with the lime. Nice presentation there. Nice napkin, embroidered napkin. Steve-O with the Captain and Coke. So gonna take a drink and see how this bad boy is. If it's strong, if it's weak. She said they made it with Hendrix, the best stuff on earth. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it's strong too. Really strong. Steve-O, what about you? What are you saying about the oh, yeah. Captain and Coke? Love it when the waitress or the bartender has a heavy pour. Get your money's worth. Here it is. Cheers with Steve-O to 20 years of friendship. The app, nachos, guys, and I think chicken, guacamole. The waitress is going to bring over some little plates to make it easier, but this looks really good, guys. A little Tex-Mex at the Hawthorne. A little chicken and guacamole. There it is, guys. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby. That is good. The 1925 burger at the Hawthorne Hotel. The famous 1925 burger. You got your fries. And check out these grill marks even on the bun. Not just the burger, but even on the bun. Steve-O got the same thing. You went, what, medium well on yours, right? I did well done. Oh, well done, yeah, yeah. I got medium well. Steve-O went well done. And it looks great. It's not just a McDonald's burger, guys. This is a full-fledged, official tissue, nice, big burger. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles. American cheese melted to perfection. We've got a couple more drinks on the way. Steve has got another Captain of Coke on the way. Here we go, guys. First bite, and I'll tell you this they did not skimp on the lettuce. Got a whole head of lettuce in this burger. Oh, yeah, baby. That is good. Steve, how is it after the first bite? Yeah. Who would have thought? Hawthorne Hotel, world famous cheeseburger. Steve, how does this burger compare to the TJ Burger from Carmody's? Is it right up there? The TJ Burger it's is right the there. standard I hold all burgers. So, yeah, it's right up there, right? It's right up there. Yeah. It rivals the TJ Burger. All right, guys, going with a dessert drink. The gin and tonic is almost done. It's called the Nutty Irishman. Here it is, guys. The Nutty Irishman. It's a dessert drink check it out got some coffee here with what is it jameson is that what it was? yeah a little bit of jameson in here and i requested extra whipped cream and i think they put a little cinnamon i don't know just gonna try to get a taste of this whipped cream with the straw and now i'm gonna go with the taste of the actual drink mm. it's like christmas eve at the hawthorne hotel <laughs> Does not get any better than this, baby. Hawthorne Hotel, Salem, Mass. The after dinner drink capital of America. Going for round two before they close. Oh yeah, baby, that is so good. Guys, just want to show you a little bit more about the drinks menu here. While I enjoy this, I didn't really look at it. French 75, chocolate peanut butter pie, Seven Gables drink, which is New Amsterdam vodka, the orange flavor, berry vodka, pineapple juice, OJ, the grown up Girl Scout, there it is, pomegranate martini, Hawthorne espresso, and then they got some mules. You're not in Moscow anymore, but the spice pear, pomegranate pomegranate, blueberry, cucumber. Two nutty Irishmen to the skull. <laughs> Over it. Over it. <laughs> Over it, all right. And what's the bill here? One... $34, $134, but we got a lot of food. We got an appetizer, a lot of drinks, two dessert drinks. We're eating in a ballroom, guys. Check this out. We got some nice swing music in the background and a Christmas tree with some presents under it. It's all here, guys, in Salem, Mass, at the Hawthorne Hotel. 
with Steve-O. We're here with the legend, the legend of the North Shore. His name is Steve-O. He's been my friend for 20 years now. 20 years through thick and thin. And here we are still having drinks together. So there it is. We didn't get to eat in the tavern, the wood panel tavern. Can you guys see that wood paneling there? And check out that. There's an upstairs, like a secret upstairs, but that's okay. We're in the ballroom. Hi, time in Salem outside of the Hawthorne Hotel. Walking out to the car with Steve-O after a few drinks on a blustery night. O-B-E-R-I-T-T-T-T. Over it. But if you have enough drinks, then the cold doesn't really affect you, right, Steve-O? Yeah. Yeah. There it is, Ford Escape, built-in GPS. Dude, this is sweet. Look at that blue, I love it. And headed into the room for the night, guys. Just wanted to show you this decor on this old-fashioned door. It's almost like a bird bath embroidered in there. Pretty cool. Here we go. Oh yeah. And the chandelier in the room. Gotta love it when there's a chandelier in your hotel room. This is what it's all about, guys. Old school friends on TV and making a cup of tea before bed. Good morning, guys. Jonathan Brown Menzies waking up on a freezing cold day here in Salem. Check out the beautiful view. You can see a little bit of blue sky. It's like 20 degrees out, but with that wind chill, I think you can hear it. It's like five and it's already time to check out. Believe it or not, I slept late today. So I'm gonna take a quick shower now and then then I'll show you guys the lobby and everything on the way out and show you what it's like walking outside the hotel. Hopefully I won't blow away. All right, get back to you in a little bit, guys. 11 o'clock a.m., time to check out. Got a great sleep here, as you can see. How can you not get a good sleep with all those pillows? Oh my God, it's like sleeping on a cloud. Check outside, it's still howling out there. Howling, really windy, cold. Doing the last minute check, make sure I didn't forget anything, any necessity necessities got everything so here we go the checkout just a few comments to wrap it up guys 10 out of 10 the jonathan brown menzies rating really liked my stay here unfortunately i did not see any ghosts if they were ghosts they were friendly ghosts got a great night's sleep nothing woke me up it was so quiet so comfortable so thanks to the friendly ghosts of the hawthorne hotel for letting me sleep undisturbed now i'm gonna check out at the front desk gonna see if i can get that Coffee to go. One final view of this legendary lobby. Love a big lobby like this. Go down, read a book, hang out, drink some coffee. Beautiful day here in Salem, guys. It is chilly, it is windy, but guess what? Complimentary coffee on the house to keep you warm on my walk to the car on the way home. Love this place, guys. Hawthorne Hotel. If you're coming from the New York City area, not a bad drive at all. Probably less than four hours. Anywhere in New England, a great place for a quick weekend getaway. Like I said, everything you need is right downtown restaurants bars historical attractions great place to just walk around although bundle up if it's in the winter walking here with my coffee and luggage at the same time whoa 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 that's not gonna work so i'm gonna leave it at that guys if you like this video you know what to do hit that like button right now have you stayed at the hawthorne hotel what did you think of this place leave a comment below leave a suggestion that's how i get ideas about new videos i can make if you really like this video guys please subscribe thanks a lot for watching guys until next time jonathan brown menzies signing off